this happened uh, yesterday, and a lot of people are sort of upset. Uh, Gray, what have you heard about, or what do you know about the eSport Awards? Not that familiar, if I'll be honest. But I do know eSports as a model, it's not doing so hot. Even if you say, like, comparing it to, like, Ludwig's eSports team or Charlie's eSports team, I'm pretty sure they're incurring net losses. So, yeah, it is what it is. But, okay, uh, yeah, I have no idea what's going on in that scene recently. So, yeah, it'll yeah. be a first reaction for me. All right, so um, this is not necessarily the video that's important, but we can watch the video as well. But here it is. This comes to us from X Esports Awards. Uh, we are delighted to announce we have entered a three-year partnership with the ESWCGG, bringing our esteemed award ceremony to the Esports World Cup, the world's largest gaming festival. The Esports Awards okay. will come to you live from, I mm, think, wow. Riyadh, wow, Saudi, Arabia. Saudi, Arabia Saudi Arabia on August 24th. Stay tuned for the information on voting categories. Now, uh, a lot of people are actually really, really upset. I don't think we need to watch this video. It just sort of shows Wait, like what's, what, what's, what's basically what are, people are there. The, lo the location of when, where the, the location is, is Saudi Arabia, uh, is Riyadh. Uh, that is what making a lot, that's what's making a lot of people really pissed okay, off. I, I can see why, especially in the West. <laughs> okay, I can see why. Okay. No. But, okay. the you, you, industry, no, tell me the, you can tell me the details, but I, I think I have it in my head why why people are upset. Okay. Okay. So if you scroll down, uh people are like, okay, you got over here. It says, I love how this exposing double standards companies and LGBTQ grifters when it comes to China and Middle East. No one calls to a protest from any of the prominent flags and pronouns activists. Okay. Now this is the first one right here. This is one of many. Way to make it known that you don't care about the LGBTQIA plus player. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just okay. time for Pride Month. Yeah, a lot of people now. Let's go ahead and actually go to view post engagements. Quotes. First one. Yesterday, esports announced a surprise partnership with ESWC, an esports initiative funded by the Saudi government. Today, I immediately remove myself from any and all responsibilities relating to this company and its events. This is short-sighted and unnecessary. Uh, see, uh, right over here, short-sighted and unnecessary. Uh, partnership that I would be embarrassed to be a part of, so I resign. I served as an active and vocal panel for member for four years, a host of the show for three, and have been a go-to ambassador for supplemental content every step of the way. I largely enjoyed my time and felt good about most of the work done. I think it's important to celebrate the people that make our pastime great. All of the people, much love. So that's one person. And if you actually go on the actual, uh, what they allow and what they don't allow, LGBT rights in Saudi Arabia, uh, Arabia homosexuality is illegal and punishment is death. It's banned for gay marriage, imprisonment for censorship, and gender changing is illegal. So, Gray, how do you feel about this? Um, there's, there's more that I'm going to go over, but how do you feel about this? You're, uh, I believe you're paused. I'm not paused. muted. Yeah. When you mentioned Saudi Arabia, I already know the discourse. <laughs> 100% I was right. So, yeah, the thing is about esports, this may be a hot take, especially for people who love esports. I really think it's a terrible, terrible business model. It's just that Back in its prime, I think it's just that there were so many investors on it, but it's such a bad business model where you keep you have to keep feeding it with really really strong ad revenue and sponsorships. So the thing is, like, yeah, you can get that sponsorship money at first, but now during in our economy right now, these companies will double will be very meticulous when it comes to their marketing spend. So how will they know if their ad if like the ad revenue they they provide they they um the marketing dollars they give to these esports company is worthwhile. How will they know they will get their their ROI based on the sales that they will get from advertising in these esports events? There, there's no for me in my opinion, there's no way. How will they know? So it's like that's the reason why esports is kind of dying. It's like they can't really get companies to in put sponsorship dollars in them anymore. So mm -hmm. what's pro what what happened is Saudi Arabia being a very wealthy country. So hey, Saudi Arabia, you, you want do you wanna? sponsor our esports events like 
like yeah because like we need we badly need the money we can't find any funding anymore in the west so it's like yeah sure as long as you adhere to our laws and regulations and there, and there you go that's what I, they have no choice these esports companies have no choice if they want to have a big event and saudi arabia is the only one willing to fund them or who has the financial capability to do so yeah that's i mean it's it's a no-brainer that was going to happen and of course mm -hmm. it was going to upset the lgbtq community naturally but yeah uh that's what i think about esports it's i have a very cynical view on esports it's it, for me it's a it's a re, it's a terrible terrible business model no uh i think it needs to be tweaked in such a way that it needs to be profitable without the sponsorship money yeah yeah they have all that oil money so if if, if you guys don't know um saudi arabia has been uh, diversifying their portfolio recently, right? They have a lot of gambling uh, companies that they just bought up. They bought um, they bought video game companies. Um, the company that I work for got bought up by a Saudi Arabian prince. So uh, that's basically my parent company that I work for. And then you have a bunch of like, and Dragon Ball Z theme park is opening in Saudi Arabia. So it's it, they're getting really, really, really big. And it's gonna be like the entertainment capital of the world, right? So like that, that's what they wanted to be in. But a lot of people are very, very mad, right? Right over here, using this as a reminder to say that if you haven't yet, go watch this video and share around. The more people who understand why this is bad, the better. I left the link in the below. Let's see right over here is another one. Reminder that Saudi Arabia is by influence in the entertainment industry, video games in particular. Saudi Arabia punishes human rights activists who try to bring attention to the crimes of their, gov uh, their government. I spent four years at Esports Award uh, Committee. I resigned this morning. I'm extremely proud that the siege scene pushes for a welcoming, tolerant, uh, tolerant and inclusive place for all. There are values. I'll always fight for them. Yeah, a lot of people are mad. Big mad. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Having it, man. Like, there's a bunch of people who are super, super uh, pissed off. Now, yeah, that's okay. Now, I actually yeah. up the equal, uh, equal decks. This is the official website where you can actually see all the laws, right? Blood donation, uh, gender affirming care. Those are the only two things uh, that are legal, but everything else is banned. Intersex infant surgery, conversion therapy, adoption. Adoption is illegal. That sort of sucks. Discrimination, no protections. Changing gender, illegal. Censorship, non-binary recognition, housing discrimination, military. Uh, H consent is NA. And the total equal decks out of 100 is 16 out of 100. So this is a, a lot of people are basically super, super pissed off right now. Now, mm -hmm. a lot of people are like, well, this is pretty bad, right? This is pretty bad. And um, I, for me, I'm like, you're, you're not just going against a company. You're going against the country. You're going against like yeah. the, or the or, or, yeah, the it's, it's not happening, guys. It's not so happening. About it, right? a, 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 a wealthy, a very, very wealthy country, if I may add. Yeah, it's not happening. These, yeah, it's like that's the thing. It's because the esports business model is really bad. It's it's a terrible thing. Like you're gonna have to like lick companies' ass to to for it to happen. So they ran out of companies to find here, sadly. But yeah, they had to turn elsewhere. And guess who has the money to be able to make it happen? Saudi, Saudi Arabia, apparently. Mm -hmm. yeah yep so now the thing is i do want to check like russia and like all these other places right here's the thing um go ahead and put russia let's see are they that strict they're even worse however you get lesbians and gays bisexual and transgender people military uh banned lesbians gay bisexual permitted uh, bisexual is permitted, transgender people banned. So basically, lesbians, gays, and bisexual can be military. It's just transgenders are banned. Uh, adoption, they, but they have a lower indexing score. So Russia is pretty, pretty bad too. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, mm -hmm. if you look at China, China is relatively high. 49 out of 100. Gender affirming care is legal. Asia consent is legal. Right? Censorship, uh, state enforced. Uh, homosexuality is legal. Civil unions, so gay marriage is legal over there. And if you go back to Russia, varies by region. So yeah. Um, the thing is that the fact that you have China is more lenient than Saudi Arabia, 
But uh, yeah, it's a uh, we'll see we'll see where esports are gonna go uh, moving forward. But I, I have a feeling that a lot of people are just like pissed off right now. Like for me, I I don't really care what this company uh, not companies do, but especially countries. Like you can't really have a say in anything. You can just yeah. go online and talk and like talk shit about it and stuff like that. But like if yeah, if 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 you were to go out there to that country. I'm publicly come out saying that you're gay or lesbian, like, yeah, there, your life is at risk there, man. I, I, I wouldn't do that. But the thing is, a lot of people who are complaining work here. They, 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 yeah. they live in the U.S. right, and they speak yeah. and you know they type in uh, English. So I don't know, man. How do, like yeah. o- overall, the, like, do you think it's do you think it's going to change at all with Saudi Arabia, or you think this is no, absolutely not, like. There, it's like, yeah, it's like you, as my 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 main point always been is that the business model of esports, like it's, I would it would surprise me if they all fade away in the in the near future. They all just get discontinued. It has to be something. It, it has to be something else that's driving the revenue because like how it is now, it's it's really not. It's just it's just a way to, it's just a way for the companies to market their products. But they should, it's like. Whatever money they give, these companies give to the companies, like expect it to just go down to zero. It's not the same as like sponsoring for like an NBA or the Super Bowl. It, it's not. The, the returns is just not there. So yeah, these esports companies had no choice. They they really didn't. It's like these people complaining about why why Saudi Arabia. It's probably because no one else is willing to fund it or to accommodate them. Not at the, not at the scale that they wanted. So yeah, it was either there or it doesn't happen at all yeah 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 it's a, it, it, it sucks you know like it, it's, it's because i do have friends that are like part of the lgbtq community and stuff like that and like let's say if it's it, it it's a country man if it's a company yeah voice what you want it's like okay vote with your money but like if it's a country it's part of their religion right like it's part of their religion mm-hmm. and they're not gonna they're not gonna like it so yeah, for for me, yeah, good on them. You know, just you know what, quit, just vo- voice your concerns. You know what, um, I'm not going to be working for this company anymore. Just quit, right? Yeah, your, I, your, I understand. Your like, it's, and your it go- livelihood is yeah, fun. yeah. It goes against your beliefs. If it goes, if it goes against your morals that much, then okay, yeah, I, I get it. I get their anger, but in terms of the business model, they ha- I, I'm pretty sure, ninety percent sure that they had to do it, or else they get no funding. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.